Do I look like the kind of guy who would do things that aren't worth it? Don't answer that. So here's an interesting question that I get, surprisingly frequently. Hey Matt, so this insurance adjuster thing, is this worth it? You know I love you guys, but this is not a very good question. What's up Elite Adjuster? The simple and easy answer to this question is, you have to decide for yourself that this is right for you. But since I'm not here to give you the cheap and easy answer, let's dig a little bit deeper. What are you really asking with these questions? You're looking for a guarantee. You want me to say, yes, if you follow these simple steps, one, two, three, then you'll start averaging $100,000 a year, take home every year until you get tired of the travel or you become rich, whichever comes first. This tells me a couple of things. Number one, you probably just recently heard about this job and you don't know very much about it. Or number two, you're very used to a stable nine to five Monday through Friday job where you know exactly how much you're gonna get paid every two weeks. And that amount typically doesn't change depending on how much work you do or how hard you work during the week. And of course, there's nothing wrong with either of those things because people come to this work from a huge variety of backgrounds. And I think the best way to answer this question is in a song. Well, it works in the suburbs and he sleeps in the hotel. The best way to answer this is to tell you exactly what we don't do. Number one, we don't work year round, generally speaking. So when we say that we can average up to $100,000 a year, it's really kind of inside a six to eight month window and not the entire year. Whatever you choose to do outside of that time is entirely up to you. Number two, we do not get paid by the hour. The adjusters who really, really kick butt at this job are the ones who become masters of time management and efficiency. If somebody shows up on a cat site and they're completely disorganized and just taking their time doing everything, they're not going to end the storm season with any significant amount of money in their checking account. Because we basically get paid on a commission, it's very, very important for us to do as many claims as possible during the day. So doing two claims a day or three claims a day or four claims a day, isn't going to cut it if you want to make the kind of money that you've been hearing about. The highest earning cat adjusters will try to hit at least seven a day and always be striving to try and get one, two, three, even four more than that done during the day. One day closed. And also because we get paid a commission on the claim, which another, which can basically kind of come out to a percentage of the claim, it's on us and it's in our best interest to find all of the damage, to not miss damage. Now, this doesn't mean that we're finding damage that isn't there, paying for things that we shouldn't because that would be unethical and it would be fraud and you'll absolutely get in trouble for it. We really do strive to find all of the damage and make sure that we're paying the right amount for the claim. And why? Because the higher the amount on the claim, the more we get paid. So the adjuster who thinks that they're gonna be fast and sloppy and that they're gonna end up making a bunch of money on the claims is gonna get busted. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, there's nothing that quality assurance people, the people who, who pull your files and go back out and look at them to see how you did, they love nothing more than to say things like, hey Matt, your file looks really great, but uh, you know, you missed uh, some damage on, uh, there was a run out of two feet of gutter and um, you missed that. I'm gonna have to ding you 10 points on that. I mean, it happens all the time. So you have to absolutely find all the damage. We want to be fast and not sloppy. Number three, we don't get everything handed to us. So we have to buy our own vehicle, we have to pay for our own gas, we have to pay for our own, own hotel, we buy our own laptop, we pay for the software, we pay our own health insurance and our own retirement out of our own pockets, which to me is kind of a benefit because as a corporate person, you think that you're getting health insurance, but really what they're doing is they're just taking money that they would have otherwise given you in cash and buying a group plan with it. And they're shopping around for the cheapest possible product. Trust me. So as an independent adjuster, as, as an independent contractor, you have the opportunity to look around and find the best product for you and your family at the best price that you can find. So the real question isn't, hey Matt, is this job worth it? It should be, can you do it? The money is there and the steps to getting it are pretty simple, but is it easy? No. So there you have it. It takes grit and determination to carve a quality path in this life of ours. IA claims are no different. Don't forget to check out Adjuster TV on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash Adjuster TV. If you found this video valuable, please feel free to share it and hit the like button. For more videos about independent adjusting, hit the subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. This is Adjuster TV.